couple weeks ago, I have this Roger Rabbit-like dream where I'm driving into work, which I haven't done in forever, and the sun is rising, except when it finally comes over the horizon, these little rays pop out like they're animated. And I woke up and I thought, that was kind of cool. <laughs> so I sat down and I began hammering away on this project. This is a keeper, meaning that I want you to keep this. I want you to use it. I want you to play with it. I'm going to give you the project, and in this project, by the way, down here is the same exact copy of this project, but I put callouts in the project so that you can see exactly what I was doing at each step along the way because I didn't want to just give you one big grouping, which you can have and can use, but I wanted you to see how each group works. So I kind of broke this into four sections and each section we're going to start uh, and we're going to build on each other. And rather than have groups within groups within groups, I simply sort of had a group and then a group and then a group. And, and I kind of uh, started making them bigger and bigger as you go. So here's how it works. For example, at the beginning here, I've got uh, my first ray of the sun. And it, it just grows out like this, right? Then um, I took it and I copied it and I rotated it 90 degrees here, right? Uh, then I just kept going and copying and pasting, rotating, copying and pasting, rotating. And then I had uh, four and I called that a group. And then I had four more and I rotated that another 22.5 degrees. Anyways, you'll see as you walk through here that we've got now... Boom all the sun rays and then I group it all together right so I go from one to two and then I've got uh, four, two groups of four and then I've got eight sun rays and and uh, then I simply call that all my sun rays and I save that to the library I do recommend whenever you get to like a milestone in your project save it to the library uh, so that you can reuse it again and again it's time to work on the sun itself. So I created this animation. I start with kind of a full 100% um, visibility and then it expands out. And uh, I think I'm pretty sure I use, what did I use on this one? Uh, spring uh, animation easing uh, to kind of make this bounce a little bit. Boom. And uh, and then I bring in uh, on top of that same circle. Now I bring my sun rays back, except I don't. Uh, I, I understand what I'm trying to do, but I actually only want them to come out outside of the sun itself. So what I did is in the outer rays over here is I put a circle on here. Let me go to none and you can see this. Right. Uh, I use that because I want to conceal or I want to hide uh, what's underneath it. So I am going to be hiding all those sun rays and I'm going to do that with alpha invert. Alpha reveals, the invert conceals, right? So uh, what I'm going to have now is the animation and I only see just the edges there ever so nicely. Okay, then I took all that and I grouped it together and I called it now sun and the outer rays. Cool. Holding off on that for a second. That also gets uh, saved to the library and I'm going to use it at a later time. Now, when it's day and night or you've got, in this case, it was sunrise. So I still had night up here and then the sun was going to come up into the sky. But before the night breaks uh, or before the dawn breaks, I got black up here. Okay, so two graphics, nothing too too big. I group it together. I call this group black and white, and then the next thing I do is I animate it because I want the sun to be coming up to the other side, and I rotate that uh, 180 degrees so that that group looks like that. Okay, cool. Uh, that's all I had there, and then I take that black and white with the animation, and underneath it, I put the sun and the outer rays. Uh, that's okay, but what I really have to do here is what happens in this next part is I go in with that black and white, which rotates around, is I went and I turned this to luminosity. This is kind of a big deal. Luminosity means if something is luminescent or white, whatever's underneath it, you're going to be able to see. If it's black, whatever's underneath it, you're not going to see. Okay, so the white, let me go to none here real quick. The uh, he, At this point, you're going to see what's on the bottom. 
And now you're going to see what's on the left hand side. And now you're going to see what's on the top. So if I go to right click and I go to luminosity, voila. Very nice. I said very nice. Okay. So now I group that whole thing uh, and I now have what I'm just calling my half sun. Okay. It's okay. I mean, it's, it's especially okay over here. Um, but this part, not so awesome. I don't really want to see that. Uh, so how do we get rid of it? Well, I'm going to have to cover it up. If you're talking about covering something up, that means conceal, which is usually meaning invert. So I've got my half sun here. Uh, we're now in the fourth and final stage. I've got my half sun. And all I'm going to do now in this group here is I'm going to take uh, this graphic. Let me just show you this. Just covers up the bottom half of the screen. No big deal, right? Um, and I'm simply going to call this one alpha invert uh, because now it is going to cover up that bottom of the half sun there we go and uh, we've got our animation almost totally complete and then finally uh, I add a little bit of text feel free to modify and play with it for me this was a reminder that in dark days as we've had it it's on me uh, to let my light shine and to bring some brightness and hope and happiness into the world and I can't let my circumstances get me down. I hope this brightens your day. Uh, in this demo, which I'm showing you right here, I used it to show off a mobile app uh, because it wasn't just the fact that you could control your devices like turn on your coffee maker in the morning, um, but it, that it added some value to your life, right? So use it, uh, apply it, modify it, make it your own. Thanks for using Camtasia. Appreciate you uh, watching these videos and I hope you learned something from it. Take care.